So what you saw there is most of what I've done for the last few days. Get clay, bake it into bricks, turn it into stairs, go back, get more clay. Grinding is so much fun, isn't it? Hey. <clears throat> and in case you haven't noticed, you got the updated pack. Yeah, came out like the same afternoon I recorded my last one. But I messed up on a couple of things, and by the time I got it out, well, now I look kind of silly. However, I do like... we got the Dark Diorite, the Light Andesite, or... The Light... Whatever. The Light and the Dark Bricks. Uh, I'm glad we got them, and I'll show you why. Because it helps this stuff stand out even further than what it did before. So before it was a bunch of brick and sandstone. Now we got something that obviously doesn't look like it was built by the people that live here. And got a bit more of, you know, the stuff that wasn't built by the people who live here. I like this. This is it's kinda cool. I'm gonna finish it well. As soon as I decide which direction I want to go with. I might go that way, I might go that way. Don't know yet. Got a couple holes in there. You can see the cobblestone and andesite inside. I've had to go in and pick the zombies out more than once because I've got a torch. Yeah. This chunk of town. I'm trying to remember where I recorded last. I know it wasn't this. I built this because I needed a place to store stuff I was working with. And I needed something that looked like, you know, a working sort of structure. <clears throat> Come on, let me sleep. Thank you. It's always raining in here. I don't know why. Start it nice, and then it'll be a thunderstorm. Got a few of these end rods. They don't quite fit in with what I got going on, though. They just don't. It's unfortunate. I was only looking forward to using them. Nothing. They don't fit here. They just don't. In some other place. I'll find a spot that really works. I don't know. I know I know for a fact I didn't show off the market over here. So we're a market district. This guy sells food. Mostly food. Fish. I was doing some fishing. I had to uh, get some puffer fish. And all the other fish are just, you know, we eat them and they turn into cooked fish. So I did that with it. This guy sells tools. This guy sells wool. I'm using these kind of like bollards. You know, the shopping cart runs into them. A town. Yeah, a town kind of ends right here. That's going to turn into something and until I figure out what, I can't go any further. But we do have a direction we can go. And rather than just build more of the same houses... Oh yeah, like I said, texture pack update, we get the smooth, smooth looking sandstone. Which is kind of neat and kind of not. But it is neat that I can do this, and then the further we get away from the middle of town, the less fancy the houses get. Right? Uh, I won't... To do this, it's just build the house in regular sandstone, keep the smooth blocks, and replace the rest with, air quotes, smooth sandstone, and end stone. Makes a nice, you know, rugged. These people obviously don't have as much money as what's over there. These rabbits keep getting in here. Thankfully, they don't crush crops the way chickens and stuff do. <clears throat> Bunk. Certain people keep going by and chicken bombing the place on me. Now that we're here, you know what? I meant to build a wall here. I did. I'll have to do it a little afterwards. Because now I'm going to do a bunch of this stuff. Stairs. I don't have any doors on me. Oh, I know what. They're all over in my storage building. Way over here. I tried to make a uh, freaking acacia tree here. Couldn't get it to point the way I wanted to. Get it to point that way. Just wouldn't do it. 
Grab my nerves. Stopped. Have some doors. Some doors? Could be some doors. A door. All of this and no doors. Hey, one second. Okay, I got all the stuff I'm gonna need. Now, the reason I needed some little wall here, uh, let's just do so like an alleyway here. Yeah, it's gonna come along here. I'll build it better next time. Honest. Is it the one thing this place needs right now? Is a place for all the not so well to do people to live. That's right, this place needs a poor quarter. Just because. Because it gives me a chance to take a slight break from building the exact same structure all the time by switching out the block types and building the exact same. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. These people are living in. Wood houses. Still, the best choice I could find for uh, for the roofs was still brick. It's the uh, doesn't I put it. The color change isn't so drastic from the wood to the brick. And the brick keeps it tied in with the rest of everything else. Not like how to put it. It's a it's a drastic color change from the rest of the town. So I have to do this to keep the whole thing kind of tied in. And I knew I couldn't do that. There we go. And I didn't bring any. Okay, you, you can leave now. Your job is done. Tell me I brought some... There we are, jungle wood. Get okay, four in here. This will eventually be something else other than jungle wood. Jungle wood is just something I have an awful lot of. With the justification being that... Uh, didn't I just grab doors? Oh, pff, on me. Jungle wood is something I have a lot of. And it looks like a kind of washed out wood. So I can use it when I remember to get some more. <laughs> Throw all the wooden parts of things. Now you also notice that this house got built one block lower. And the reason for that. That's because these people are poor. Can't afford a whole lot of stuff. What it does do is it means I can make buildings that have multiple floors and they don't get huge. So I want to be. Where's my trapdoor? That. And all of our buttons. Because we are still going for a unified aesthetic here. These buildings can't be a drastic difference. There and there. And Right? So we've got a house that looks, you know, definitely... Yeah, the people that live here definitely don't have as much as the people on that side of the street. But then, I can go get in my hotbar. Three... There. One thing I have noticed is that if I'm going to go... I have to be at least four blocks in the front of the house. I can do... I can do three from the side, but not three from the front. Just climb up here, make this house a little bit bigger than the other one. What am I saying? We'll make it substantially bigger than the other one. There's a lot of poor people that live in this house. Three, go all the way up here, that and that. Nice. Knock out a quick build here. And we need. Nope, not there. Come in like this. Is that window right there? Right there. Knock that out. And you'd think this corner here would be a bit of a bung up, but it's not. Let's do that. 
Way upstairs. Pillar back up here. And this is kind of where the glowing houses are actually a bit more fun to do. Because I can make them look a lot more haphazard by being incapable of placing bricks. And it's also night. Because it needs to be. Damn it, game, why do you do this to me? Mm. Alright, so I just hammered that one out. I noticed we went kind of just straight flat there. Yep. Helps make the place look even more, you know, uh, haphazard, kind of a low end. You know, we built this with what we had, not with what we wanted, kind of thing. Two, three, four, five. Five across here. And then let's offset this because I don't want the door in the same spot. What I was thinking there. We'll make this one. So that one's got the, the white, the extra room over the door. We're going to make this one a fair bit bigger, just like that guy. But his second floor is going to be. It's a back one. Nope, not yet. I keep going, dropping back to that whole uh, Victorian or Tudor style building the guys are used to. There, and then this part comes like that. Be a window. Uh, you, just one window, please. These people aren't that rich. Knock that out of the way for the moment. Times like this, I sure am happy. I don't intend to do anything with the inside of these houses. <laughs> this would be a nightmare to try to do anything with. No room whatsoever. Pillar ups disappear. Uh, let's make them one bigger. The rough part is trying to do this, but not being, not showing any of the orange from the acacia. Uh, let's go. Let's make this guy even more irregular. Like that. Yeah, that's a nice. This should be a complete nightmare to put a roof on. And do the magic of video editing. Done. I'm also going to give these guys a little bit of something here because you can't have these low-brow ruffians coming over using the well in the nice part of town now, can we? No, terrible. Maybe you uh, should have waited to do that. There we are. Get a nice little bit of this. Hmm, forgotten about that. Okay, guess we're going to break the bricks, aren't we? Knock that out. That. All four corners of this. Use the last of these. I had to go steal one from uh, one of those guys. So they're not going to be happy about that. You know, coming in, these rough people in the poor quarter, stealing our stuff, here we are, they got a well. I could put a piece of glowstone there. Oh no, nothing's going to spawn on it, what am I worried about? We're going to do the same thing. Oh my. Oh, burpy today. Once I go and grab a bunch of leaves. We're going to light the outside of this place much the exact same way. The only real difference being that these guys are going to get things like oak leaves. Maybe some birch. Because... Eh. Because the leaves have that washed out color these do. Here, um, I'll just go grab a bunch and show you. Okay, we've got oak leaves and birch leaves. I do like that the birch leaves don't completely... Uh, uh, fade out the way the oak leaves do, which means these guys will actually have a bit more variety in their hedges than the ones over there, 
but maybe those are the the standard, you know, house brand, house builder, blah blah blah. You know, you get this because you get this. That is kind of nice. I didn't expect that actually. And we'll throw a little extra weathering on, just like that. Houses are decently maintained, except for they're old. There, and that's got to be a garden. One more sleepy, and we'll throw some gardens in. And then uh, this neighborhood should be ready to go. I'll just copy the whole thing out over and over again. And... Beetroot. Yeah. Grow it all up. There we go. So, we've got our last little splash of colors. More yellows and greens. I think they work pretty well here, don't you? Yeah. Come up from... Mm, I'm going to have to move this tree, aren't I? You have to find another way in. Come over here. This isn't too bad. I'll leave that one over there too as well though. Maybe this one will be a slightly more mean mean street here in the the bad side of town. Not too bad. Let's find a big on me. Let's do this. All the way over here. And let's see how that blends in from a ways away. Do 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 do. And up, and up, and over. All the way up here. Hi, rabbit. Bye, rabbit. Oh, rabbit dead. These are not terribly smart. You <laughs> can't even see it from over here. This is a smart one, wasn't it? Uh, I can see it from... Ah, Feather Falling 3. You can see it from way over here. What the heck was that noise? Hang on a minute. That sounds like... That sounds like a lot of zombies. But no torches with me. That's why. Okay, let's get back out of here. <laughs> uh, sword on the bar fast. Go away. Go away. Go away. You too. Wow, what did I just wind up with? At least he didn't get it all. Stop hitting me. Come on. Someone's up top already. Where the hell did you come from? Don't start me on fire. You come from way over here. I gotta light some of this place up one of these days. I'm trying to light a bunch of it up. Keep feeding, I gotta build a decent. Uh, really big mob spawner yet. Mostly just for things like gunpowder. You can see it from here. That's not too bad. It still blends in. I gotta be careful here though. This is just you know, one overhang of sand. And I want to keep it that way. That doesn't look too bad at all over there. I'll just expand that out this way, that way, back a whole bunch. You got a lot of room. It doesn't matter how much uh, you get. Junk. Hmm. It doesn't matter how much acacia wood I have to grind. Uh, the town. This chunk of town, I think, is about done. Because I need to start figuring out where to put where all the rich people are going to live. I'd kind of planned for them to live in higher areas. Like up there. Do I don't have any... Oh, come on, you can do this. Nope, you can't. I planned for them to live in some of the higher areas around, which is why I built kind of down in this depression. Come on, get up here. All the way up here. See, I want them to live in the high zones, right? 
But I can't really fit a big palatial house there. I could do something over here, but that would be a lot of terraforming to do. Plus, that's going to be some kind of monument. I don't know what yet. Uh, that could be... The problem is that we're so far away from where you would expect a nice chunk of town to be. You know? Like that guy's got the biggest town in Lowtown. The biggest house in Lowtown. Where would I put all the nice stuff? Because eventually along the river, I have to terraform that. I want it to be uh, wheat farms. Right? The water... The river floods and you grow wheat there. I'll have a few other things. Hmm. How am I going to do this? I could. I could fill that all in. Or at least just tower it up, right? So it looks like, you know, an actual hill. And give them, like, one way in? Like, there's only, like, you know, a gigantic gated community that town just sprawls around? Then it's really far away, because I want all the fun stuff. Hmm. I may not have thought this out properly. Tell you what. I'm going to go back to figuring out what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand the poor quarter a bit more. And hopefully by next time I'll have a real answer. Yeah. And hopefully... Uh, I'm hoping that I can think of something. I want to do another another game other than, other than Minecraft. Like, I like Minecraft and all. I need something just different to break from it. Um, as it stands, it is early May, and I am five subs away from my New Year's resolution, aren't I? 95. And a lot of my, a lot of the, the subs I got were from uh, Techno Firmacraft that unfortunately I've gone and burned myself out on there. And I like to try to find something new, some other game. I just don't know what yet. And a lot of them are really expensive because when things get priced out in Canadian pesos, that number gets really high <laughs> for a guy who's not making a huge pile of money. Hmm. I'll think of something and I'll let you go. Next time.